Hello my friends, how are you? This is Rachel from Sweet Bee Paper Co. And I am here to do a final flip through of my Marguerite Miller Weekly Collage Challenge Collages. Very excited to be finished. I have some pages marked off that I kind of wanted to um, talk about with you. And then we'll do the flip through. I'll have a timestamp um, showing you or so that you can go straight to the flip through if you don't want to hear me talking. <laughs> but first, I want to tell you that next year I will not be doing her collage challenges. I have started one of my own. I will have the link to the introduction for it. Um, I am doing a deck of cards challenge next year. So each week will be a different video. I will draw a, two prompts for each week and we will be collaging a card. It's kind of along the lines of, you know, like a weekly collage challenge. It's just less prompts. So with the less prompts, it should be uh, more of a time saver, hopefully for me and um, a little bit easier. And I will be kind of explaining some alternatives or some different ways to look at the collage prompts while we do it, because I think that's what I struggled with the most with this was trying to think kind of outside the box because I have a very <laughs> straightforward thinking with with the prompts and so after a while I kind of started getting used to thinking outside the box for the prompts. So I want to be able to help you um, think outside the box a little bit with some of these prompts when we do them. Very straightforward you can you know do one prompt that I draw or both of them or the other one entirely up to you and we're basically just doing a small collage either on some jumbo playing cards standard size playing cards you can even pick note cards to use for them i'm very excited to do this um i kind of enjoyed having a year-long project to finish and so i wanted to do something like that but not necessarily that one again i wanted to try something new so that's why i wanted to try to come up with this on my own so if you're interested i will have it linked well it should have been showed in the cards by now and i will have it linked down below so you can check out that video let me know if you'd like to join and yeah so let's talk about the weekly collage for this year so towards the end, I finally decorated the front. It took me so long to even want to decorate the, the front of this. And I wish I would have decorated it sooner. It's so pretty. And the last video, I added this dictionary definition cheer. Because of all of the support that I got from you guys through this year about these collages and the prompts. Because I voiced kind of like some frustration throughout the year just with this in general and kind of struggling with it and you guys were really supportive and that was really helpful to me because like you get in your own head when you're making stuff and let me tell you it is really hard it's hard number one it's hard to just make videos and post them like there's this whole other thing with just making the videos and post them but it's a whole other thing to share something you know you're not very good at or you're learning how to do online to strangers <laughs> it's really it's difficult to do because you don't you may not like it or you're not sure how people are gonna you know you just never know and that's really hard to do too just to kind of let go of that control that wow like other people are gonna see what i make <laughs> so that's just kind of kind of part of it too and you guys really cheered me on so that's kind of why i went, <laughs> went ahead and put that on there at the last part so I've been talking for a while now. <laughs> so let me show you some of my favorite collages. And I'm just going to go through like time wise. This one with the, let's see, I did a room and a home, real or imagined. And I did a living room for this one. And I got, I think a couple of magazines that my mom had gotten in the mail and some other stuff. And I used that chair paper. I absolutely love this one. I just, this was really hard for me to do for some reason. And 
I, I really thought about just not, not doing this anymore because I'm like, I don't know what to do. Nothing was looking right together. Like I cut out several things and I really like how it turned out. I think it's really cute. So I did the doily is like the rug on the floor and then, you know, the chair and lamp and stuff. And it's really easy, but I was just kind of imagining just putting, you know, a 3D room on a paper. Um, and then I did, I think this was supposed to be my carpet, like shag carpet or stuff. Um, and this was the wallpaper, I think was how I was looking at it. But that one was week six and I was like, what am I getting myself into? This one I struggled with too. I just wasn't sure what to do. I love this one as well. And it it's sometimes, you know, sometimes the simplest things are all you really need to do. Because sometimes I feel like I kept wanting to add more and more things to collages. And you start to realize that... Um, Sometimes you just don't need to. And so I, that's why I really love, I love this one. I love this picture of this pilot. It's really cool. And this one for week 47. I tried to not, <laughs> there's so many of them that I love. I tried to be really picky of the ones that I really, really loved. Um, like the all stamp one. That was kind of fun to do. But I absolutely love this one. It just, I kind of struggled with what to use and where to put everything. And it turned out so pretty. And I really should have used that star stamp more often. Week 48, this one I tried to keep just very simple. I really like how it looks. It's so soft and pretty. And then <laughs> the last one I just did, I, I just love this one so much. This one just kind of really reminds me of a, um, like a vintage journal or something too. And it's it's so pretty and then so the definition that I used is finished because <laughs> I think I said that I was grateful for butterflies um but it kind of goes into I'm grateful <laughs> that this is finished and I'm not trying to be um you know, I'm so glad it's finished because I hated it. I did not hate it at all. I did enjoy it. I am just glad to move on to a new project because I did learn quite quite a bit doing this and so those were my favorite ones and I still have a couple sheets of paper I did have a I don't think I ever said it on camera but I did mess up um with putting them in the pages I accidentally skipped a couple pages and I had to pull some pages out <laughs> because I didn't want like the blank pages in between and I didn't want to put my collages out of order so I've just got a couple pages left but this was a good size book to do for this because they were big enough to kind of make me really push me out of my comfort zone you know because normally just do the envelopes which normally just do the envelopes so these were a lot bigger and it um, definitely was a challenge for me but I hope you like seeing all of these collages every week and seeing me <laughs> kind of make them I hope that I give you some ideas for years and that's why um, you know I wanted to come up with a collage challenge of my own and just do something different that I can kind of guide people through it because I kind of thought with this challenge, I really didn't see any guidance or um, anything from the person who came up with these. And I thought too that she would post them 
the prompts somewhere too because that's what i thought she did the year before that she posted them every week somewhere as well for people that you didn't have to pay for the the whole prompt thing unless you wanted to um but i never if she did post them somewhere i never saw them um and that's just why i wanted to do mine so i can also kind of help people that are new at collage and i can kind of help um just my perspective on some things when you're collaging i'm not an expert in it but um I can help where I can, but let's go ahead and do the flip through. I'm going to put some music to this so you can just enjoy looking at the collages and check out my challenge for next year, the deck of cards collab. It's linked down below and let's get into this flip through. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life away It's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes And a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night When the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in so pretty with the wind blowing in your hair we can look back someday baby don't you understand that we only get one life i wanna make it count honey come on now and take my hand yeah we only get one life i wanna make it count honey come on now and take my hand oh stop believe I live in your thoughts I think about you all the time Morning, evening and midnight Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found You're the rose in a garden And it shows if I'm on it 